In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever one Whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. In the day when I call, answer me speedily. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. Lord, hear my The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will, not, you will die in your sins. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning. 
I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. We hear in these readings, that first reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 through 9, had to do with snakes. Ugh, I do not like snakes. Okay, that's a whole different thing, though. And then uh, the gospel from St. John, chapter 8, 21, uh, uh, verses 21 through 30. The, the author, I found a, a beautiful, just a short little a reflection on, on these things. The author is reflecting on, isn't it, oh, thank God. Because I'm so messed up, I can't even take care of myself. But thank God, God always provides to save us from our sins. I cannot save myself. I'm such a broken sinner. No way. But thank God, God can, God can do, overcome my sinfulness. That he gained salvation for me, for us, for humanity. So that's what we're focused on. When the Israelites confess their sinfulness, God does not take away the snakes, but provides a way to be saved from their poison, their venom. And it was very simple. Just to look upon the bronze serpent and live. Bronze serpent can't save you. Metal can't save you. What, Jesus, uh, what God was doing was testing, are they going to be obedient? Something as simple as just looking at a bronze serpent. And they were healed. They obeyed. The cause of their suffering became the source of life. They were healed. And then the author ends with this. To save us uh, from our sinfulness, our own sins, God became human. Not a metal thing. This is blood and bones and flesh and muscle. He became human. So Jesus' suffering and death are the source of our eternal salvation. That's a beautiful reflection. God always, always provides a way to save us from our sinfulness, even sending his own son to die for us, for you and I. Praise God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Trusting in the Lord's generosity, we stand and present our prayers and petitions to him this morning. We pray for all clergy and religious as they serve the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For politicians to do the work of building up lasting peace, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all the elderly who are homebound and lonely. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our family of faith uh, gathered here this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are sick and ill. And We don't talk about this much, but those who are living with mental illness, emotional disease, or whatever it is, depression, bipolar schizophrenia. We pray for their healing because they are in pain. So we pray for their healing, well-being, and then for the families who are their caregivers. So it's, it's a full-time uh, a job, a full-time ministry. So we pray that God would send them relief and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, uh, especially those uh, who have died in this Lent season, let us pray to the Lord. And then just in the quietness of our own hearts, our, our personal prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. (laughs) 
Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and we pray our Mass intention this morning uh, is listed for Margaret Groney. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Merciful Father, we, uh, you send your Son, Jesus, to redeem and save us. Please hear the prayers we now offer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the Holy Church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of reconciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your loving kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <coughs> Humbly, we pray that partaking, in, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my earth, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.